Hello YouTube people, this is Sonia with SMC VSG 2016. I am back this week to talk about how my pre-op diet is going, um, kind of an update on surgery, and I have a couple products that I was going to share with you, and then I have just a little addendum that I wanted to talk about that's based on someone else's Facebook post this week. So pre-op diet, first thing. Not going well, but it's over on Thursday. I have my last appointment for my medically supervised diet that my insurance company requires with my primary care doctor. And uh, as of this morning, from the beginning of this, I've gained three pounds. Of course, that was three pounds since I weighed last week, so that could just be water weight or, you know, what have you, retaining water. Um, not sure, but... I do know that being on this pre-op diet has not, you know, there's a, a few things contributing to me not really committing to it. One of which is, you know, lowering my BMI. I've been a little bit worried about that because I don't want to go over 40 or under 40 and, and I would be close to that if I lost any, I would, that could happen if I lost any weight. So that was one of the things I think deterring me or justifying me eating the way that I wanted to eat. And there's also, again, I've talked about this before, but the idea that um, I don't want to deprive myself because I'm going to be deprived after the surgery. Um, and I haven't been able to change my way of thinking about that at this point. I'm hoping that it is going to change now that it's actually over and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, I started with today. I've done well. I had a I had a caramel premier protein shake with uh, instant coffee added to it, which uh, that was good. Although if it had been by itself, I don't think I would have liked it as much because it's very sweet. Uh, but mixed with the coffee, it was um, doable. Uh, and then I had a couple of the products that I'm going to share with you a little bit later for lunch, which is a shake and um, kind of a snack food. Uh, so I've done so far, oh, and I had a couple uh, things of string cheese at 50 calories each. So I've done pretty good today. I think I'm actually under 500 calories so far, and it's like 5 o'clock. So that's pretty good, and I'm going to try to keep that momentum going. But, yeah, I don't know. Please, people, tell me in the comments I'm not the only one that has struggled with this pre-op pre diet thing, this supervised diet. Um you know, it was only three months, but I, it didn't go well. Yeah. And, and, you know, that it was my own fault. I didn't commit to it. I didn't, um, put a lot of effort into it. Uh, I'm going to try to do that now for this next month. Cause I'm hoping my surgery is going to be in approximately a month from now. The insurance company, um, is going to get, well, the surgeon's office called me and said that, they needed to confirm with me the name of the surgeon that I wanted and the type of surgery I wanted. And once they had that and they could confirm it, that they confirmed it with me verbally, they could submit to insurance. So they might even be submitting that before my last appointment and then just wait for that. I'm hoping they're staying on top of it so it can get approved quickly and get this moving. Okay, so yeah. Anybody else out there struggling with a pre-op diet, let me know because I feel your pain. The products I was going to share with you, one of which is this, let's see, can you see it? Skinny Girl Protein Shake. It's a vanilla bean sundae flavor, and I got it at TJ Maxx for about, I think it was $3.79 for four of them. And it was so good, it tasted like really good vanilla ice cream. Um, if it had been just a little bit colder, it would have been perfect, but I hadn't gotten it cold enough yet. But just give me, let me give you the nutrition on that. It's got 80 calories, um, 12 grams of protein, five carbs, one gram of dietary fiber, and one and a half grams of fat. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, you know, even for a snack for 80 calories, 12 grams of protein, um, and it's only 11 and a half ounces to drink so um that made it even better for me because I don't like having you know like a 16 ounce shake it seems like a lot to get down so I had that for lunch today along with 
the dry roasted edamame. Uh, maybe it's, I think that's how you pronounce it. I could be wrong. Um, anyway, these were good. I have, I, I don't have much of a sweet tooth, but I do have that crunchy salty thing going on. And this actually um, also filled me up because um, it has a lot of fiber in it. So let me give you a uh, just the nutrition on this one. Uh, one serving, which is one third of a cup, has 130 calories, 13 grams of protein, and 11 carbohydrates, eight of which are dietary fiber. So if you're one of the people who, you know, deducts that, that would leave you with three grams of carbohydrates and four grams of fat. So that's a pretty good high protein snack, I thought. I had it, um, like I said, for lunch combined with that shake today. And this was a seven and a half, half ounce bag for only $2.79. I kind of compared that to the jerky that I bought, which was $4.99, and I think it had two servings. And um, it was okay, but I just think for a regular snack, I'm not gonna spend $5 um, on jerky. So I, I, I prefer something like the edamame. And no, is it like regular peanuts? No, it's not, it's not that good. It's not gonna give you that same kind of, you know, satisfaction. But I think this is all about kind of shifting our tastes and preferences and trying to get, move in a different direction. So that's what I, not that peanuts are unhealthy. They're not, but they, they do have less protein and we know more calories and fat so those are those are two products I would recommend that you try um, the other thing is I have been thinking a lot about um, this whole idea of uh, stress uh, management and emotion management and the fact that a lot of people talk about how your home hormones are in crazy mode after you have surgery, not to mention just the stress that you have of ever, everyday life. Um, you know, I have a pretty stressful job and I, I do know healthy ways to manage it, but I needed new ways. I needed to start thinking outside of the box. Um, uh, things to, t to divert my attention whenever I start thinking about food and I have that head hunger after surgery. I want to kind of get on that right now so that I have some things in place and I'm not trying to figure it out after surgery. So while I was shopping at TJ Maxx this weekend, I found some things that I think will be good strategies for dealing with stress and emotions and the head hunger. Um, and I just wanted to share those with you because, you know, maybe it'll give somebody else an idea. Um, remember coloring with your kids or when you were a kid coloring? Well, you know that's the big rage now is this um, adult, these adult coloring books. So that's what I found. This one has all of the colored pencils included in it. It was $12.99 and it has these intricate patterns on um, that you color. I've already tried it. It actually, it's and they look really pretty when you're finished. But you see even right here it says relax and de-stress with a little art therapy. So I think that's going to be one that I'll enjoy. The other thing is, um, I, I know a lot of you out there have been raised in a culture where electronic communication is just the normal mode of communication, text messaging, emailing, um, those types of things. I was not raised with that. And in fact, I don't even think I had a cell phone until... 1998 maybe and I graduated in 1985 so that tells you something uh, and I left home the day after I graduated from high school and I traveled all over the country and I have a lot of family all over the country and so there was a lot of you know keeping in touch with people which I did one of two ways I used a landline phone to call them or I wrote letters and I got letters in return and I always looked forward to that getting a letter in the mail so while I was at TJ Maxx and I was just kind of looking around to, and trying to think outside the box about, you know, ideas for stress reduction, I saw this gorgeous little container of note cards. Look at that. 
And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna start writing to people again. I'm gonna start writing letters or at least sending little notes to people. I got another one, as you can see. This one's not as pretty, but it's colorful and I think that I will enjoy doing that. So that might give some other people some ideas, just thinking outside the box there. The last thing that I wanted to talk about. Oh, let me get that quote out. Um, Many of you know Experiencing Nirvana from YouTube. She also has Facebook and Instagram. And this week, and if you don't know who she is, look her up. You need to know who she is. Experiencing Nirvana. One of the most inspirational people on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, in my opinion. She had a little um, kind of WLS speech that she gave a drop the mic kind of thing on Facebook with a comment that she had. And one of, one of the things she said resonated, and that quote that she had on there, I'll quote her, was, people will ask questions. Don't lie, you had the surgery, own it. And that really resonated with me because I've seen a lot of videos recently where people have struggled with that question. Um, you know, what to tell people and should they tell people? And, you know, I'll just say for me, this is just my personal preference, I am much more comfortable just telling people the truth. If they ask me, you know, they notice that I've lost weight and say, oh, what have you done? I'm gonna say, well, I've I've changed my eating habits and my exercising habits and I had a little surgery. I heard that on someone else's, I had a little surgery. Um, and I think, you know, when I, when I put some thought into this, what I really thought about was that when we lie about it or when we don't want to tell people about it, we continue to stigmatize weight loss surgery. And and um, I think it, it can do a disservice to people who actually might be inspired to look into it by knowing that that was something that we used. I was um, at a, a local convenience store a few weeks ago and I saw someone that I uh, work with but only see a couple times a year. And I'd probably seen her last probably six or seven months ago. And she had lost a very significant amount of weight. And I'd heard through the grapevine that she had weight loss surgery. But, you know, what I said to her was, you look great, you know. And, um, of course, I didn't bring up the surgery because you know, I just don't think that's, you know, unless she had told me, I wouldn't bring it up. But, um, you know, when I told her she looked great and um, looked healthy, she said, yeah, you know, I've been um, changing, you know, the way I eat and, you know, exercising more and just, you know, trying to get healthy. And I thought, well, that's great because she did do those things. She has changed her eating habits. She has, you know, started to exercise more. But she also had surgery. And, you know, although I'm already at a place where I've decided that, I think it would have been good for me to hear her say that, to own it, you know, to not stigmatize it, but to advocate for it. And so... um, I'm completely, you know, supportive of anyone's choice. That's a very personal choice about whether or not to tell people, but I just think I'm going to take this moment to advocate for people telling others that you've had the surgery. You know, and I think, you know, if you'd done it any other way, would you hesitate? You wouldn't. So, you know, you might just help somebody else by by acknowledging it and who cares what other people's opinions are they can keep them they don't pay your bills so that's my two cents on that one uh thank you everyone who subscribed to my channel and left me encouraging comments um i can't tell you how much i appreciate it i am trying to be out there getting you know people involved and i love that oh who was it who was it um just had surgery Hey, Ashley, um, she actually added the list of people to her YouTube, um, uh, the section you have under your name. She added in people who were having surgery in September and October. And I thought that was such a great idea because we can all kind of stay in touch, the ones of us that are going to be having surgery close together. So I want to thank her for doing that. And for some reason, her handle is just completely boo on right now um so that's all i have for this week i'm gonna probably check in next week and hopefully with an actual surgery date uh, after i have my last supervised diet appointment 
Thanks, everybody. Bye.